Hi, Control Booth members. This is Keith Kankowski, otherwise known as Key Light. It is my pleasure to be here with Gaff Taper and Devious Dave at LDI Las Vegas. Wow, and I still have a shirt. That's amazing. Anyway, I wanted to take this uh, brief opportunity to mention that we uh, still use clean laser technology for our gobos, and uh, you'll see a few photographs here shortly. Uh, we use laser technology for all of our glass gobos and all of our metal gobos, and uh, it does two purposes. It serves the fact that uh, it is a clean laser technology. We no longer produce 4,000 gallons of hazardous uh, waste products. And secondly, our resolution quality has improved. We've gone up from 20,000 dots per inch, which seems like a lot of dots. Uh, now we're up over 100 million, bazillion, gazillion dots per inch. I can't even count that high. But when you see these photographs, you'll be able to tell that uh, it's rather difficult to count the number of dots because they're pretty darn small. But I can show you uh, briefly, this is a glass gobo. It's an M-sized glass gobo. We're using, uh, oh, a little more than two-thirds of the available image area. And these little lines are actually 7,700 words. It is the Wikipedia entry about Leonardo da Vinci. So if you were able to go to the wiki and look up Leonardo da Vinci and see the entire article and put it on an M-sized glass gobo and still read the words, uh, we've done that. Matter of fact, this was produced a little over a year ago. Honestly, no one's actually going to throw this thing up on a wall in a projection because it would be much too small to read. But when you look through it through an, a loop, a jeweler's eyepiece, you'll see the incredible uh, detail and high resolution. That's, if we can do that with Leonardo da Vinci's name and uh, his life story, just think what we can do for you and your theatrical performances. If you have a piece of artwork that's yours and you want to see it on the wall exactly as you saw it in your little head, we can do that for you. So not only glass, but since we like Leonardo da Vinci so much, we also made a metal gobo. And you'll notice that his name is still bridged. You know, the center of the O has two little tabs that uh, contain the, the center of it. So instead of it looking like a big hole, it actually looks like a bagel. Uh, acid etch technology would not enable us to do this. Uh, acid etch works great. It's kind of yesterday's technology, which does work, but it does not offer high resolution. Not only that, it's kind of dirty. Uh, we were considered a large waste generator in the state of Indiana up until last year. We produce zero hazardous waste now. Uh, we use less energy because we don't have to keep our tanks of chemicals hot for 19 hours a day. And uh, we don't have this uh, nasty hazardous stuff floating around in the air anymore either. So, not to sound like a marketing guy, but that's what I do. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call Dave on his cell phone, or better yet, uh, ApolloDesign.net and you may contact me through the control booth or on our website either way and be happy to chat with you. That's about it from Las Vegas and LDI 2010. This is Keylight from the control booth.